Hey, what's up? Time to look at the best memes. And for those of you gotta head to the Old Zealand subreddit, over 11,000 hammers posting fabulous memes. And we'll go to the top this month. New month, new drawing with Z gone to Europe. I spent most of the last week binge watching through the door for save and decided to draw my favorite moment. And it had to be the Hinneman hat trick against Spurs in the Champions League. The man we all love and hate doing what he does best. Hope you all enjoy. This was sent to me on Twitter as well. And it is astounding. It is one thing to have all of you guys watch on Twitch. Link down in the description, of course, and follow my save. The most recent one being Florence Dorfer. But to have this kind of amazing fan art memorializing our best moments. I actually reached out out to this person and have commissioned further pieces of fan art in the future commission them of course because this blew my mind i didn't know it had also taken over the zealand subreddit don't cry because it's over smile because it happened thank you dorfers this is always tough like saying goodbye to the old save if you are going to move on to fm23 there's a link to support the channel and buy the game in the description uh, of course everybody has one of those if you don't want to move on that's fine because then you have to go through these like sad moments and apparently you have to shave your beard which mine is looking voluptuous in this picture wow let me just get a closer look mm. and then it turned into a mustache for a while <gasps> Thoughts on that in the comments, please. It was a quarter life crisis, I think. But thank you to the Dorfers. They even invited us over to Austria. That was that was a ton of fun. It could be worse, I guess. If you feel bad, just remember that Juventus swapped Shao Cancelo for Danilo. Who's Danilo? For anyone who has ever attempted a South Africa save, Arahoni Makari was in charge of the Sakun Hune United and they beat Orlando Pirates today. Uh, he's 11. Wait. This is the actual picture of when you're playing football manager and then all of a sudden your little brother finds out how to open your computer and takes over your save. This is exactly what that looks like. Zealand chose violence on Twitter. I, I did. Better graphics. Play FIFA. You can play it on a toaster. Better graphics. It doesn't matter. Just play in 2D. <laughs> These are... Oh, wait, so this is me. I'm in the top left corner. And then everybody else in the Shrek universe is yelling at me. <sighs> I like how they made 2D the donkey. That's good. Just kidding, I love you 2D freaks, but you are in your own freaky corner and I just want you to acknowledge that. I love closed captions on YouTube. Oh no, what is this? Features while I was in Floyd's door for all the fog plots. <laughs> Floyd's. So the club's name is Florence Dorfer and their stadium is called the FAC Fock plots while well, I was in Floyd's door. YouTube's trying its best, chat. What do you do, chat? This is a YouTube video. I need to film more YouTube videos. Why well, would never be able to go to the Fock plots like Zealand? Hey, this American managed the club in FM22 and took us to the Champions League. He released me the first month of the save. I did. I did actually tell them. I I actually told them what I did with them. Some of them took it better than others, but I did. I I toughened up to it. The Slovenian Benteke, the 50 best wonder kids in football. Benjamin Sheshka. Why? I'm angry. Okay. Why the Benteke? I don't want him to disappear after like three years. That seems mean. Unnecessarily mean. I want to share my worst FMing ever. Shamrock Rovers 3, Eindhoven Hill. 40 shots to five. I mean, look, to be fair, they did have one and a half clear-cut chances, All right? You might have had four if you add up the half chances, but they did have, they deserved their seven, three goals that they got. I think this is a clear overreaction. What'd the guy make? 20 saves, chump change, sidebar. Is that a world record? 20 saves? The Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper made 20 saves. You know what he was drinking? Athletic greens. So I realized recently that sitting in this chair 10 hours a day, making videos for you all and streaming for everybody, that that might not be the best for my health. So I wanted to add something to my wellness routine. That's when Athletic Greens reached out to me. They were like, hey, you want to try this AG1? It's this nutritional drink that you can have every morning. And it's NSF certified, so you know it's legit. And I've been having it recently, and it's great. So I can be healthy and spend the rest of the day playing football manager i drink athletic greens once a day every morning it is my pre and probiotic my multivitamin my multi-mineral delivering system and it tastes pretty good too it's very easy to make here is me very tantalizingly making it for you all you have to do is pull out the little sleeve or scoop out the powder once a day you pour it in you might have to stir it up a little bit and once you stir it up you drink it. it takes you five minutes and then you got everything to keep your body healthy it's obsessively researched there's over 75 vitamins minerals and nutrients in the drinks gluten-free no eggs no sugar added 
unlimited, nut-free, dairy-free, no GMOs, no herbicides or pesticides, no artificial coloring, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. And you can get a year supply of immune-improving vitamin D3K2 as well. That's for free down at the top of the description and five not four, five travel packs free. All that with a purchase from the link at the top of the description. So you get a bunch of free stuff and you get your injection of vitamins and minerals. If you're like me, you're lazy and you don't want to find a harder way to get them every day. You got five minutes. And their tagline is you can't put a price tag on your own health, which is true. But the price tag is low, so that's also good. Austrian State Television, that's the channel here with an interview of Zealand. Much love from Austria. So I, I can't play this for copyright reasons, but there is a link on the Zealand subreddit to me being interviewed in the Austrian media. We were on uh, national Austrian television visiting Floyd's door. My goalkeeper's preferred squad number. <laughs> Should have known we were going to get some tomfoolery from Damien Dumyanov. He's the Philip Phillips of... Azerbaijan. Every five-star center back. Let's see. We've got two-star, five-star, heading, marking, tackling, brilliant mentals, five jumping reach. Why? Cool FM God. I had more than one player in FM22 that were world-class wonder kid center backs and had 11 or under in the jumping reach and also slow. Five, like I included five, seven. Oh, the struggle is real. Football manager doesn't seem to balance those things out as well as they do in real life. There is only one Lissandro Martinez. I can't be the only one who thought this, so I had a mustache. It was not a serious thing, okay? It was not a serious thing, okay? This was this was not serious. Let's see what it... I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. When you ask your mate Mahmoud if he knows where his mate Al-Sufi is, Mahmoud is the... You know. <laughs> That's not funny at all. You can't make fun of people's names like that. So I'm at Twitter handles the old Zealand. I do it to myself. That was good. That was good. In October tradition, my responsibilities, FM23. <sighs> Even if we're making videos and tweets like, I don't know about FM23, the first week it was out, it was just like, oh, I've consumed your life. You were born in the darkness. I was molded by it. What is the line? You were adopted by the darkness? I don't know. Why does his voice sound like that? I'm gonna cue the one like DC fan that's like, well, actually, pain. Does your dog bite? No, but it can hurt you in other ways. Your wonder kid wants to get a PSG. Oh, it's always them. But then when you look at the wages they're handing out, you can't, you can't blame them, can you? FM creators of the Sega boardroom. The board will not allow you to increase the XG dev budget as they feel it is high enough already. The club is currently spending... <laughs> oh, we've got 138 million in the XG budget. We have zero in the graphics budget. Can they make it a negative? I'm ready for Lazio being OP for no reason again. Holland being OP, FM players, Lowengolski, Immobile. They're not going to be OP because of that. But another team with that color scheme will be. Have you met our Georgian friend Kvisha Kvarichkelia by chance? This is why I don't trust my scouts anymore. Posted by DJP Davey. It's a different website. Well, thanks for giving the credit. My scout. Me on a $2 million trend for budget. It's messy. At the, you know, the good news is with the new scouting format in FM23, this doesn't happen. Now you just get no reports of anybody. So... How cool is that? We all need a bit of a laugh every now and again. We've got Ronaldo, we've got we've got Rashford, and now we have Who are we waiting for? Who's coming up next? Oh we have Anthony No! <laughs> but have you seen his six spins? That's what I'm talking about, sister. Is there something you're not telling us, Zealand? KSI's next boxing opponent apparently begins with the letter Z. Who do you think he'll be fighting? Yeah, actually, I don't know if you saw my reply to this tweet, but so somebody said thoughts on my 611 wonder kid <laughs> i've never seen 20 jumping reach i mean you have to have 20 jumping reach i've never seen it though like actually a very good player this is also very clearly somebody taking a picture of their computer like this and if you ever do this again i will throw you off the subreddit nice wonder kid though 611 um excuse me we have <laughs> oh wait there it is Bournemouth got relegated and they're going to the conference league 
trophies, baby! You said you didn't love the magic of the Carabao Cup. Well, guess what? In honor of another no stream day, this must have been a little while ago when we were in Austria. Yeah. Zealand traveling. People who watch his streams, people who watch the Zealand live channel. This makes me feel really bad. Now we're getting back on track, but uh, we, yeah, it was our first big content driven trip. We went to three matches in Britain. We went to different events in Austria. We visited our club on Football Manager in Austria. So it was all four YouTube videos that hopefully you all have enjoyed, but... <laughs> We were not able to stream for a while. Me to my out on lone striker who scored the winning goal in the 95th minute against me in the cup final. You weren't supposed to do that. Anybody else feel awkward when you play against a player that you have out on loan? It always makes me feel very uncomfortable. And this is why I don't like the club World Cup. You lost on penalties and the team you were playing against had... <laughs> What in the... Are those all injuries? Is it like because of the scheduling you're finishing? It's all an, It's all because they're tired. Every single extra... Every single injury was after the 90th minute. And it's just because they're too freaking tired. You finish the team... You finish the match with nobody out there. And Fulham wins the Club World Cup on penalties. Honestly, I, I think Fulham would kneecap a significant proportion of its fan base in order to win the Club World Cup. But not... <laughs> Maybe not football manager. FM gods are playing card games. Let Zealand finish a classicer against Salzburg with 11 men or draw 25. I'll let Nick Lima take it from here. I enjoyed my new Bulgarian signing for a glorious 22 minutes. Chester signed Panev. What is... I've never, I've never actually had this sort of thing happen to me before, but the fact that it does is hilarious. Like, did he trip over a freaking cord on the way out of his introductory press conference? How do you break your foot less than an hour after officially signing the contract? Like, one of the reporters just drops their notebook on his foot. Oh, oh ref, ref, ref! And your favorite wonder kid and club legend in FM scores against your team in real life. You were supposed to join us, not destroy us. Oh. Yeah, well, because you had him in FM, you thought you had the high ground. <laughs> I just smacked my knee on the desk so hard. <gasps> my old throw-in coach has returned yet again with his words of wisdom. I am once again asking, please do not throw the ball directly to a player with a different colored shirt on. And the response, and for the f sake, I am once again asking, stop heading the ball when it's cleared to you. You're just giving up possession of the ball. No, when I really need the toilet, but, but highlights do do danger. <sighs> okay. That's it. That's it. That's the last one I can take. Thank you for submitting these on the Zealand subreddit. I'll see you guys there soon. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe just thought i'd remind you oh and if you want to keep binging reddit videos here's me looking at more funny memes keep laughing do nothing else today it's a great plan